I'm Adam Porzak with Porzak Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today we had the opportunity to have a very special student come into town all the way from Boston, Massachusetts. Man, all the way across the country to come see us for golf lessons. We don't take that lightly. Really cool story. His name's Matt Glantz. Matt was a big fan of Ga our very own Gabe Ryder, who takes care of our YouTube channel with Movement Towards Improvement. Gabe does a great job with our YouTube channel. Matt used to be a fan of his. Now Matt's watching our YouTube channel, and guess what? He's out here taking lessons, and he's about to be on YouTube himself. We're super excited to have him here. He did a great job with the structure of his backswing. We got him over on the wall at Bernardo Heights Country Club, had him working on getting his golf club and hands in the right spot in the backswing that can lead to the path of the least amount of manipulation. We think you guys are really gonna enjoy this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I want to see it just really exaggerate. And this is good for the viewer to see because they're going to, I mean, you're gonna, I'm literally going to tell you to throw your arms at the golf ball and you're going to be like, what? well, I'm sure when Butch told Tiger to do that back in 2000, people were like, what are you talking about? Yeah. But the reality was for a person who looks like this either way <laughs> at impact, it's okay to feel those arms sped up and in front of you. I have played some really good golf feeling my arms just be faster than my body's rotation. This is me doing it right now. I feel like I'm throwing my arms at the golf ball. Right? Now, when I look at that on film, guess what? It probably looks pretty normal. It just felt like my arms got in front of my body and had some freedom. There's some freedom to the swing. A lot of times what happens to many is we talk about this look. You know, you see how it just kind of stuck to the body a little bit? Yeah. And it just didn't have the pop to it, right? Ball went real low, clicky, didn't have the compression, but watch. A little more arm speed, hand speed right here. You can just see there's a little more kick to that swing, right? I just want you to do that, okay? I want you to do that a little bit more. <laughs> hey, good morning, Bob. <laughs> it's the guys, you know? You know what's funny about it? Every single one's my student. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you got you got you, you got Dougie Galoff right here. You got Dougie Galoff. You got Bill Feed. His two daughters actually played. His daughter played at Auburn and uh, and Vanderbilt, um, and, um, I believe. Yeah, yeah. And then you got Bob over there. Bob Sharp. Bob Bob was a member at Pumpkin Ridge for a while, over there. And then you have then you have the one the one yapping away over there is Mark Silverstein. He's my he, he's he's one of my favorite members. Just just a great guy, and. Uh, these guys are just great. This is what we call our blue tea group at Bernardo Heights Country Club. They, they're, they're, they're typically the, the better players, you know, but they, they go out and they've always had the Saturday morning group or, you know, Sunday morning times and they go out and get some good money games going. Just a bunch, <laughs> bunch of boys who love sports and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. It's really, it's really, it's just, but the country club vibes are about as good as it gets, you know. You just, sure. you, you just, you get the guys on the range just jaw jacking in the morning, you know, yeah. all talking a little bit of smack to each other. <laughs> And uh, what, what, what's fun is we're going to be here in a couple hours, and guess what? You're going to see them down here just grinding over putts and stuff for a few bucks, you know? It's just the best. And we get to see all of it, too, you know? Yeah. It's so much fun. I mean, this is like, we call it the perch. You know, you're up here perched up, and we get to look right down the ninth green, watch all of our students come by. <laughs> and what's funny is, you know, we had a, we had a lady the other day that came by, and she's like, I just get so nervous when I come up number nine because I know you're watching. <laughs> It's not an easy hole. And by the way, I know we've been I know we've been jaw jacking a little bit, but we just saw two of the best swings of the day. And I, I mean, dude, I got to give you so much credit. That's freaking awesome. So I got, I got some good news for you. Actually, I was I was actually we're gonna have to connect again. I'm gonna I have um, the Godfather, my little guy, Cody Smith, who's the trainer of our um, of, he trains all of our all of our players. You can follow him on Instagram. He's CS One Fit. Uh, he's just the best in the game. It's awesome. What's cool about Cody is he does golf specific, but he also works with a lot of NFL guys, MLB guys. You know, he works with all sports, and it's just awesome because it's been he's been able to implement certain things into golf uh, to make our players more explosive. But then, you know, of course, injury prevention being a priority. Um, but his brother is in it and moved out to Boston, and I mean, it's like we're all I mean, it's super tight. So we were actually going to go give Jason a visit. We were just planning a visit to go out and see him in Boston. So when I'm out there. Just let me know a range. Yeah. Let me know a range. I'll put the call in, the, the professional courtesy call. Say, hey, mind if I come out and work with my boy a little bit on the range? Let me know when you're out there. Oh, that, no, we're definitely hanging out. Yeah, for sure. I'll... Yeah, I'm all about that. Okay. 
So the best swings came right after we started to talk about the arms accelerating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny how, you know, we were all chatting for a little bit there, listening to the guys, but what's funny was, you know, we didn't, we didn't make note of that for the camera, that these swings that you've been watching him make here, these last couple, that was, that was Matt trying to really accelerate his arms and hands. If you look back at those and you can scroll back and you know, pull, that, pull, that, pull that video back a hair there and look at the videos, guaranteed you're not gonna see him stop rotating. Now, dangerous thought though for a viewer who might not need that and think, oh, it worked for Matt, I'm gonna try it. No, no, let's talk about when it would work for you. When your hands are just trailing your body center by a lot. Well, ideally we would do what? We would connect the swing to the top first and foremost because we would never tell the player their hands are behind their body on the downswing without fixing the connection to the backswing. That makes sense, right? That's the first way to attack it. Now, if the hands still trail the body, because I always love this analogy, inside horse, outside horse, they want to run around the track and have a photo finish at impact, but what do we know about this? The outside horse has a much greater distance to travel than the inside horse to get back to the finish line. So in theory, wouldn't the outside horse have to run a little bit faster? Yeah. Right, so that's my whole point is hand speed's incredibly important. So if the player finds that they've connected their back, so man, I've got it all dialed in, I'm right here, hands, body, all stop together, and they still see that look to where the club's trailing the right side of their body, right elbow behind their right pocket, I'm gonna say, hey, accelerate the hands, sometimes speed up the left arm, sometimes feel the right elbow work into the front of your body, feel the handle hit the wall. All those thoughts are great for getting the arms and hands back in front of the body. But very important to know, if you're already not a rotator and you're not rotating your body, we in no way want you to be this guy right here. Man, poor Zach told me to throw my arms at it. Like that, that's not what we're looking for. I wanna know that if you're this guy right here, you know, the hard body way out in front, then I'd say, hey, come on, let's connect that backswing, but let's also get you a little bit of hand speed. Boom. And there it is, all working together, right? All right, buddy. It's something I have to remind my great players all the time. Hey, come on, get those hands moving. This is making me real happy, though, seeing this backswing. This is unbelievable, huh? Did you hear that one? Yeah, G yeah. Gabe's watched some really good players up on this lesson T2 with us. I was gonna say, uh, I've seen some on YouTube and on Yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah, so the two things that are gonna hit that, that gonna get that ball to be exactly what you want now. Okay, ready? Yeah. It's one is the hand speed, but it really is. The only thing you could do better right now in that backswing, don't get that upper body stacked on top of the ball. Really use the hip bump we talked about yesterday to get that chest over that back foot more. That's, I mean, I'm telling you right now. So when you say over the back foot, you mean like trying to turn my left shoulder? To your right foot. Okay. Using the spine angle that we created in our setup to simply turn around the center point. And do you see where I'd be? Yeah. Right there. That's what loads the pressure on the instep. The upper body loads pressure into the lower body. The lower body doesn't load pressure into itself. It's my upper body turning on top of it that then allows me to then put that pressure into my right instep and then turn off of it, okay?
You feel that? Yeah. That's the game changer. Game changer. Not getting out in front of it anymore. Not leaning out in front of your hands, smothering that golf ball, and then just having it either kind of leak off right or just, yeah, you're, you're back behind that thing. Yeah. And, and that's what we talked about yesterday in our setup when initially we set up to the golf ball and the ball was a little bit too centered and then we had our body too forward, right? So you move the ball a little up, bump the hips back. Well, now we can turn back behind that ball and then move right into it. It really projects the golf ball up, okay? But if we're on top of it and leaning on top of it, it's nowhere to go through there. And that's a, that motion you had where you were really dragging it through. Most people, when they got in front of it, really flick that club. But because you, were, you knew not to, yeah. that's why I need to get you back behind it so you can actually now you know, get that thing elevated online. It's fantastic, dude. Yeah, that, that was that. Oh, dude, it's, it's, yeah, abs absolutely. And it was just, it was because you were, you, you're doing the right thing in your mind about not letting the hands, you know, um, not releasing the club, like, hard through impact. Yeah. But, but, when you're out in front of it already, you're just smothering that ball down and really flighting it and trapping it down. Yeah, and the problem is, like, you can get away with it with a 9-iron or a pitching wedge, but as I hit, like, a 5-iron, I just have no prayer of, like, exactly. holding it. Ex exactly, exactly. Okay, so we have the first video here on the left and one of our most recent. I mean, if anything, I'll be a little critical. I had to put the swing up there because the swing is fantastic. Yeah. We're sitting there grinding the swing, sharpen the posture a little bit. We have many videos done where we see you with a perfectly straight back. That's very easy for you to fix, right? right. Not, 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 not worried about it in this video. What I'm more worried about is the way the golf club's working back in accordance to your body, okay? Um, that was obviously our first swing. Look at this. Oh my goodness. It's like the box is there without the box actually being there. <laughs> okay, so this is just unbelievable. Look at the club set up the forearm. I mean, my goodness, look at this club has no chance of ever touching a forearm, right? No. So, you know, this is our, this is now hitting what we call our golden triangle, which is anywhere from six inches inside the golf ball to inside the ball, right? As far as the perfect swing plane. That just means the golf club is setting in front of you and it's setting in front of your hands and not behind you, so in front of your body. You watch this, look at this. We cut the turn short, the wrist get in a real tough position there. Watch this guy, all the way to the top. I mean, it's unbelievable. Yeah. It's a huge change and it's all for the better. Look at the wrist position up there. Look at the elbow and look at the height of your hands, okay? I mean, the, the, the trail arm and everything about it is just so much better. So, you know, when we look at this swing, we think about what are the things that made this really work out for us? We had a bigger body turn, meaning the left shoulder got back to the right foot. Right. As that left shoulder get back, gets back to the right foot, we're going we're gonna to work to maintain a little bit of that knee flex, okay? Mm -hmm. But the purpose of this week was feeling the wall be right here, right? And just saying, we're not going to hit that wall. We're not going to hit that wall. And, and here's the thing, we would, we would, it would actually, but the reality <laughs> is, my, in your mind, you're not, right? right? And you can see right there how incredibly good that position is at the top. The wall drill is fantastic because it's just a little bit of an exaggeration for what it is that we just need to do more of. And the feeling for you in this video, in my words, was, well, this is just hands in, club in front, and feeling the more of a natural turn to the top. And for you, that elbow was much more in, turning it up the wall with the body, using the left shoulder to get back to the right foot. And then I told you, hey, let's really hit our get our hands down to our right pocket. Mm -hmm. That was the hands down to the right pocket and get them in front of the body and that was the swing that got you right into the slot. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful golf swing. Okay, this guy over here still has a nice move, but just a lot has to be done from that inside position right there yep. with that shut face. And that's where even though, you know, we had so many good things happening through the golf ball in our swing, it, it's just, it was set to smother the golf ball, really hit it low. And, and our optimal ball flight would have just been at, with this swing, the old swing. Yeah a low, tight little draw that, as you said, with five iron in hand. Yeah, and yeah, you're like, man, I can't hold these greens, right? But this is just an, a huge difference right here. I, I just can't speak you know, highly enough about how hard you've worked these last couple of days and, and how incredible it is to see a golf swing that looked like this. I mean, you guys, I want to tell the viewer that you can't take this lightly right here. I mean, we've got to give Matt a lot of credit because this is not something <laughs> that typically gets done in a, in, in a day. And, and our man did it in less than a day. I know we say two days, but I'm talking like just over the course of a couple hours. Okay, I mean, this is unbelievable. So I'm, I'm excited for you. You show up with that backswing more often, and guess what? 
scores are going down. We in business, my man. We in business, okay? So right. let's keep going. Okay. Let's keep going. All right, I hope you all enjoyed the video with Matt. He did an incredible job and accomplished so much in just a couple of days. He's leaving back home for Boston happy, so we're happy. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Please, if there's any questions, leave them below. Also, click the link below to pick up three free videos for a distance. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day.